Rashid Kadirkiev. Rashid Kadirkiev. In the Soviet Union, we have uh, not seen them before. We really don't know much about them other than what we saw in practice, but you can bet that as a Soviet pair, they'll have a lot of new moves, even despite their youth. Well, I know from watching this couple in practice that element for element, they can easily match anyone and often surpass the other couples. She just floated on that double twist with such ease. Side by side double flip jumps. Ooh, a little shaky on the landing. Not I, much height for her jump. I think she two footed that landing too, so they'll have to deduct for that. One thing that the judges are watching for in this short program is the exit of this lift here. The gentleman must be on one foot. And I think that this couple does that the best. That's one of the things the judges talked about in their meeting before the event started. As you mentioned, Johnny, we haven't seen this pair before, but they remind me so much of the 1984 Olympic champions, Belova and Vasilia. Well, it's not uh, unlike most new Soviet pairs. They'll take a good, big, strong man and a very versatile young lady and match them together allow him to use his strength and allow her to use their timing. The final element, the back inside death spiral. Elena Kvachenko and Rashid Kaderkia from the Soviet Union. Here's the double flip jump. Now watch Elena. I think that both feet touch the ice when she lands the jump. Yes, and a definite deduction should be made. It looked to me, though, more as if the, the toe touched down. She didn't exactly put weight on it. Some dispute, I suppose. And here is the back inside death spiral. Enormous speed, beautiful agility. Look at the back arch. One thing I noticed in this program was the type of choreography was syncopation, counterpoint, very typical of a Soviet pair, but very effective. Marks for Elena Kitschenko. It'll be interesting because these judges are seeing them for the first time as well, don't forget. And uh, this first set of marks for required elements had that one slight flaw in it that uh, Debbie pointed out to you. And we'll see how much that affects them. It didn't affect them a great deal by most of the judges because in the first set of marks for required elements, you see the five fours. A three, two more five fours, and then a four and nine from the West German judge, and a four eight from the British judge. Right, this is the first time we've seen Kvichenko and uh, Kadyakov, but I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of them. Ah, here comes their second set of marks, and this is good. This is presentation, and this is a range of a 5.1 from the British judge up to a 5.7 from the Canadian.